Night of a Red Moon by O.J. Ito. This novel is about a group of friends caught up in a bloody war between students of the Olabisi Onobanjo University and indigents of Agoiwoye, the small town that hosts the university. The conflict was initiated by the gruesome murder of Femi, a student of the university, by members of the local vigilante group, the Old World People's Congress. What should have been a peaceful protest against Femi's murder erupted into violence. Blood was shed, friends were lost, and fear gripped everyone. It was one long night, a night of a red moon. The book is hard to put down once you've started reading it. Stay With Me by Ayobami Adebayo. This novel peels the layers of Nigerian family life, marriage, traditions, religion and expectations for childbearing. In Ayobami's story and indeed in the real world of African communities, delay or failure in childbirth can bring unbearable pressure. Yejide and Akin were unable to have children after four years of marriage. Things seemed manageable until a young woman introduced as Akin's second wife shows up. Furious, shocked and livid with jealousy, Yejide knows the only way to save a marriage is to get pregnant. She finally does but at a price far greater than she could ever imagine. The Code by Patrick Ibni Jesu. This book should be a contender for the most important book written in a long time for parents raising the Girl Child's Award. It tells the story of an ambitious young lady named Kay who struggles to successfully balance the demands of her job while raising three daughters. One day, in her bid to find the right strategy and lifestyle to be an outstanding mother and a successful professional, she seeks advice from Hai Pachia, a legendary life coach and mother of six successful women referred to by many of her mentees simply as Chaperon. The Chaperon teaches Kay the principles of raising successful daughters while prospering in other areas of life. Um, when a girl is praised, she wants to get more of that praise. It's for for for, for lack of um, words to properly describe it. Um, it's why boys at teenage years are able to woo girls um, with flattery, because I also distinguish between true praise and flattery in the book, because of that need to hear the right thing, to be caught to doing something good, to feel worthy. And there's no better person to make it a, a girl feel worthy than her father. What it means when a man falls from the sky by Leslie Nneka Arima. Arima explores a range of subjects and themes with our collection of stories which are crafted to entertain while addressing society issues. Arima's first story, The Future Looks Good, provides insight into what's coming in the book with beautiful characters that hold the reader spellbound, an event relevant to multiple types of readers. The story in this book will get you rereading, not just because of the interesting plot, but also the way the author describes. Guardian of the Fall by Umari Ayim Mysticism, romance, suspense and drama. This book mixes them well. The story revolves around the Guardian, who is a keeper of a spectacular forest waterfall in Agbokim village in Cross River State, Nigeria. The Guardian is a force, a deity of some sort, with great powers including shape-shifting, like appearing as a child, an old woman, an owl, a snake, a satire-like creature, and a goat with a baby's face. It attempts to march make its messenger, Aram and Ken, a developer who wants to build a resort near the falls. 
The Guardian, through dreams and visions, pulls Aram and Ken together, essentially raising the inevitable questions about how much humans dictate their own destinies. When We Speak of Nothing by Olumide Tupola Carl and Abu, who are both 17, are in danger of being consumed by the threatening explosion of racial tension in London. Abu is infatuated with a beautiful Nalini, a classmate, but he can't find the courage to speak to her. Meanwhile, Carl 